Once the plugin is installed and activated, you can create your first landing page. And you can do that under the landing pages settings here. So if we go into landing pages, what we can see is there's nothing there yet because we need to create our first one. Uh, you can do that by clicking add new or simply clicking add new in the side navigation here. You'll be prompted with a choice to choose which template you wanna use for your first landing page. And these are the templates that come pre-bundled with the plugin. You can go get additional templates over at plugins.inboundnow.com if you click into the browse templates, or you can also do that under the navigation here under get add-ons. You'll be prompted with, hey, it's the same site. You can go in browse and choose different landing page templates. So when choosing your template you're gonna use for your first landing page, by default, what's selected is your current theme, your current template. So if we select the default, it's actually gonna use the current selection of the theme that I have right now. We're gonna go ahead and select the, let's go with the half and half template. Once you select the template, you'll be prompted with a blank screen, a blank canvas for you to create your first landing page. The first thing that you want to do is name the page. And the way that this is set up, the top title is actually the name of the landing page for your administrative purposes. That becomes increasingly more and more handy as you're setting up split tests. So as an example, you don't want to have your primary headline as the title because that may change on a per page basis. But let's just go ahead and call this landing page the landing page guide version A um, because on this particular example landing page, if someone downloads the, it's, it's gonna be for our landing page guide basically. So we wanna know that on the admin interface and I'll show you that in a second. And then the bottom, uh, column here is the actual headline that's going to show on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this or save it as a draft and I'll show you why you want to name pages this way. So if we go back into the landing page dashboard here, what we can see is very quickly and easily the landing page guide version A. Um, and that's going to become increasingly more important as you clone these pages and run split tests. If you're using the headline there um, or something that doesn't make sense, you're gonna basically start getting, uh, to get confused on which landing page is which. So if you look at the landing page as it stands right now, basically we have an empty landing page that just has our headline and that's it. What we wanna do is actually insert the content. So depending on which template you're working with, these settings will be slightly different, but um, the main content area is used in most of the templates. I have some default text here with an ebook guide, just as an example, um, that I'm going to put into the main content area and that will render on half of the page specifically for this template. And then the next, uh, field down on the page here is the landing page form or conversion button. So, with the landing WordPress landing page tool, you can track the conversion rates on forms or if someone's clicking a button or a link that you have in the conversion area. So this particular landing page, what we're gonna have is a form and you can use any form tool that you wish with the WordPress landing page tool. We're form agnostic. Um, we do recommend though, uh, using gravity forms cause it's a super awesome advanced, uh, form plugin. And there's some third party extensions as well with the WordPress landing page plugin that work out of the box with it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add in a form here to my conversion area. I have an example form here. I'm just going to go ahead and insert that. Cool. So the form is in there. Um, the next section on the page is actually the template settings. So what we can see here, um, and each one of these again is specific to each template, but you have different options on this particular landing page. So I can toggle on or off the social media buttons. 
change the page layout so I can have the form on the right or I can have the form on the left. I can upload and change the logo that's being used on the page. Um, and then there's a bunch of different color options that I can do. So I can change the main background color, the main text color. So let's say if I change the background color to black, we would definitely want to change the text color to something other than black because black text on a black background will be invisible. So you want to make sure that you have those lined up. Um, and then we have the conversion area, you know, whichever side you set it on uh, to be left uh, or right, you know, what color that's going to be. So what we're going to do is basically tweak. I'm going to change the background color on this. Let's go with a lighter blue color. I'm a fan of the blue. Um, and then let's go ahead and change the submit button color as well. I want to make this like a green, like an action green color. Cool. So everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and update the template. And now if we go look at the page that used to look like this, it now has content in it. So it has our headline, our copy, and our form in that conversion area. So it'll be tracking. And if I want to change the layout, again, I can do that with this particular template where I can have the form on the left. And there's a template thumbnail that'll be generated once you save the post as well. Um, it's just another option. So yeah, so there's the form on the left and the content on the right. And that is how to create a new landing page. And if you do want to change the template, um, you can do that with the choose another template option. That'll pull back up the menu here. It'll tell you what's currently currently selected um, and you can toggle on a different theme. But yeah, that's setting up a landing page template pretty quick and easy. And once you set that up, you can clone this page, manage split testing, basically add it into a split testing group um, or clone this page and start an AB split test. So let's say I wanted to like test the headline. So headline one versus headline two. That's something that you can very quickly and easily do with the WordPress landing page plugin. The other option that I didn't uh, specifically go into was uh, at the bottom here. And that is basically, you can insert custom CSS rules to style different elements how you wish to overwrite some of the defaults or change some of the layout options. And you can also run custom JavaScript it's a little more advanced for the advanced users, but we did give you that option. And if you want to set a featured image for social sharing and what have you, you can also do that as well. Um, another feature here is, you know, once you start creating more and more landing pages, you might want to start categorizing them together. So that is how to create a new landing page with the WordPress landing page plugin pretty straightforward. Again, if you do want to get more templates, head into the get add-on section or head to plugins.inboundnow.com. Um, we're adding more and more templates each day. Um, and if you do want to implement some of old your old landing page designs, if you have a developer or designer on staff, or if you want to implement it yourself, you can do that as well. And what we've included in the base install, because really what this plugin is, is a framework that allows people to implement their current designs or old landing pages that aren't being tracked. You aren't tracking the conversion rates, et cetera, um, to do that. And we've created a demo template to show you how to actually implement those. And there is a lot of documentation uh, in the plugin site for exactly how to do that. So under documentation, under development docs, you can actually see how to create um, a new landing page template.